Okay, today I'm going to be doing a video on my restored signal collection. I got all set up here. It's all wired in. Just got to get a power supply for it. Even got extension cord wired to a terminal block for a, maybe a battery charger later on. I wired that. I wired this plug in myself along with that one. Came down out of the switch box over there. Ran two, two new plugs in here. Which is the wire I'm going to feed it with. Just a black and a white. I know it's not standard DC color, but whatever. First of all, I need my three general singles electronic bills. It's type 1. The type 2 is the gray one. And the type 3 is the one that doesn't have the screws on the top. Alright, let's start over here. Let's uh, put wrench up there. Whole bag of crown nuts along with some washers. Couple straps, ring connectors. You can buy those at hardware store. These are my terminal blocks I didn't use. I took all the nuts off. And first of all, here's a relay I got from a signal maintainer the other day. It's a Union Switch and Signal DNL4. I'm gonna focus, you stupid thing. It was on a bridge signal, is what the guy told me. It's not in use because it's only 0 0.014 ohms. I don't know what to use it for. So if anybody knows, let me know. And then here's the XR relay. See, it's labeled XR. Power comes in right here. So technically, this is a house wire cable. It's a house cable type thing. And. Wrench all the way. Comes down. These are actually. Show you real quick. This type of connector. You just unscrew it. I have it so. You unscrew it, it'll, it'll just fall. Shuts the power off. The black and the white are both the same thing. And the bare one stops here at this terminal block. This is where all the power goes to everything. This side's negative. This side's the positive. Let's see, it goes... This way it actually goes through the board to the gold test net. This is closed. If I open this, this really would drop out. Everything's dropped out right now because there's no power in here. Unless you want me to hook up to 120 volts. Then we can see what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, comes here... I got this, these two strapped together. This wire goes to my bells. Believe it does. I need to make a wire diagram and label everything. This wire goes to the XGP relay. I got a feeder wire coming from that right there. Coming to this terminal. The relay is dropped out. When you open this, When you open that, this one drops, this one drops. It goes to this wire, and this wire goes to the flasher relay, the FN16 or the EOR. I got this jumper together, and then right here. I really never. Oh man. I completely forgot. I'm gonna go ahead and wire it in real quick. I never wired that in that wire, so I'll just do it on the video. I'll explain to you where that goes in a minute. There's the crown nut. Let's put it all behind there. Anyways, that, these three wires, after you get the negative one, negatives I just have all coming from right here. There's like four negative wires off this, Count, not counting the feeder, just the trees on the roof, but whatever. So we're in a shed right now. If we ever do put up a signal, it's going to be just outside the door. 
motion detector relay. Don't have a motion detector, so it's not hooked up. Now, let me tell you where these three wires go. You follow the wire. So let's follow this black one. Here's the bell switch. Comes like this wire I explained to you guys earlier. For here, this wire goes to the bell switch. And this negative wire is strictly for the bells. These bells will be outside. I'll show you what happens when you open this. Same as these. I also got these from a Union Pacific signal maintainer the other day. He was nice enough to give me some stuff. Here's my output that will eventually go to the bells. Now let's take back to this black wire. It goes here. There's a white wire here. Another white wire. I got my three wires for my lights. Your positive, negative, and the one that switches between positive and negative. <laughs> I'll explain to you again what would happen if I do uh, open this. Open this, right? This circuit breaks from the XR. Drops out, drops out, starts flashing. And then, believe, I believe, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do, but I believe the motion detector relay is all supposed to actuate the XR relay. Until otherwise, I will be getting some lights hooked up here. But I also need to still get a power supply, and that's when the next video will be.